who is Paul McCartney going on? Howie. It is Howie? Yeah, just mm. his show. Jeez. That's it. Sir Paul. Ooh, come in, Sir Paul. Ooh, I guess Howard. Want a kitten? Ooh. I was going to say, I guess, <laughs> I guess Howard put the kitten talk aside for a day. <laughs> so you go back to doing real radio. Your uh, ex wife could use her, her leg as a uh, scratching post <laughs> ooh, <laughs> for one of the kittens, Robin. <laughs> Does anyone know about the kitten shit yet? What is going on over there? He's trying to reinvent himself. God bless him, but. Mm. His wife was on talking about kittens for two hours. Is that true? I don't know if it was two hours. I heard two hours. <clears throat> wow. Yesterday, Howard's uh, wife was on his show talking about kittens. I hear there's a clip on Sirius XM. We're allowed to play it if it's on Sirius XM. Yeah. We, I got to hear this thing. Hey, well, it's, yeah, it's on that YouTube. everyone's talking about. Because <clears throat> I, I heard people like, what the fuck is going on over there? He's uh. What is he trying to do? Reinvent himself? He's trying to be a nice guy now? What, what's his deal? I think it's nice guy, yeah. All yeah, because right. from what I hear, the scuttlebutt around uh, the office Ooh. yeah, for the people that uh, interact with them and the show and stuff is that, uh, yeah, with, with America's Got Talent and everything, eh, change, that, change that attitude into a positive, fun family thing well, and not so much the uh, raucous, uh, perverted uh, Howard of old. Well, well, you can't have the same personality throughout your entire career. So well, people well. are always adjusting and reinventing mm -hmm. themselves. But, but with him, this is like way over the top. And this I, isn't even subtle. I just got <laughs> word that it was over an hour. <clears throat> over an hour? Oh. He spent over an hour talking about kittens? I suppose. And trying to get people to adopt them? I do 10 minutes on Little Beavis and people want to fucking choke me. <laughs> <laughs> Not at all, man. <laughs> I could talk this, about Beavis for an hour. Oh, it's a delightful could. animal. But this is the type of radio. I worked at radio stations where they sold time to yeah. idiots yeah, right, on the weekends. Right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they would come in with an idea like, well, I, I want to like try to, you know, get people to adopt uh, kittens this weekend. All right. But and knowing no one would listen to that shit. A no kill shelter. He's a big show still, right? Yeah, from what I hear. I think so. This is the clip that's on the website. Yeah, I mean, it's on it's on YouTube. All right, because we're not allowed to play his audio if it's if we try to search it out with oh. the, the company. Uh, right. You, this is I mean, the company system. But gadgetry. If, but if this is out there, it's out there. It's and, his, and we're promoting uh, the new Howard. This is the new Howard. <laughs> it is. It's his YouTube channel. Let's take a positive spin on this. Help yeah, the company yeah. out a little bit. This is the new Howard. Right. Reinventing himself with some broad who thinks she knows what the hell she's doing. What is she again? The efficiency expert? Not oh. like the two bobs from uh, Office Space? <laughs> Can you tell me what it is you do here? <laughs> Pleasure's so, all on this side of the table. How fucking great is that? I just watched that <laughs> the other day. Pleasure's all it's on this side of the table. Movie. Oh, I love the two bobs. It gets better and better as you, every time you watch it. is fucking hilarious. He's fucking great in that. Absolutely. The pleasure's all on this side of the table. He's got real... Middle management. <laughs> <laughs> so this is what the efficiency expert is bringing to Howard's uh, show, I guess, right? <laughs> Why are you laughing? Yeah. This is a new Howard. We got to help him out. It's like I'm Howard. Sorry. Help promote the new Howard. Get your, get your wife on the show because she works with these shelters and has uh, adopted uh, kittens that need to be adopted. You bring her and the kittens on and then you talk about it. And... Um, you know, and your listeners from the 90s want to shoot themselves in the head. <laughs> I'll tell you right now. Yeah. I'm pointing at Imus. Don Imus. Who Howard used to make fun of all the fucking time. And he's becoming yeah. more and more like Imus every day. And I guarantee you fast forward a little bit and, and hit, Howard's wife will be on the show as a regular. Oh, like boy. Imus now has. Yeah. What does she know about fucking radio? I mean, uh -huh. I'm talking about Imus' wife right now. I and we love like Imus. He, Imus looks like he has a bunch of Angora kittens on his head. <laughs> Doesn't he? Yeah. He's, he wants Angora kittens to be adopted off of his head. His, <laughs> the rest of his body's rotting away, but oh, not the hair. That head of hair on him? <laughs> what genetics? <laughs> right. Wow. The rest of his body must be turning into fertilizer for oh, his hair. yeah, yeah, yeah. To grow such a head of hair. <laughs> All right, so this is great. This is the new Howard. And, you know, we're company men now, or at least I am, for Sirius XM. Of course. So we, we should uh, show the people what he's up to, right? I mean, the company's proud. They put it up on their website. It Technically, it's his YouTube channel. All right, let's listen to this. Mm -hmm. Just a quick clip of the hour segment, right? It was over an hour. Okay. 
The Howard Stern Show. All right. These kittens oh. live in my house. I love them all. I, you know, it's very funny. But when my wife started doing this, I didn't know how I'd feel about it. Uh-huh. Like, my my house is just... She would go to municipal shelters where they oh, were going to kill these kittens. God. Because nobody adopts yeah, them. Yeah, because they, they have too many. And uh, her idea was, I'm going to get them out of the kill shelter, and then I'm going to take them, and I'm going Pause. to... Uh, oh, my God. I... I I swear to you, I would think someone took some audio and, and cut this up as a mashup, <laughs> right? You know, this doesn't sound like uh, the no. hell of, of old. Eh? When you think this is some goof that somebody, you know, went through hundreds of hours of audio and, and cut this up to make it sound like this? What is he doing? He wants a house full of uh, kittens that need to be adopted. That's great, if that's what you're into, but you don't bring it to a huge radio show. Or maybe you bring it to the uh, huge radio show for a quick five-minute segment. Supposedly, this was an hour. I think his house smells like cat pee-pee now. Whew, and what was that the... many cats. You what was the first? that. What was the first phone call that came in after the segment? It was a complaint call. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> well, but he took it thinking, oh, see? A listener called. See, the new me's doing really well, and I got a phone call that's going to praise what I just did, right? Yes. Yeah, the listener We've been tricked by that shit, too. But. He tricked him. <laughs> And, and what did the guy say? Uh, he started by saying, uh, I just want to say that was very moving. And then he stopped his sentence. Right. And told him, uh, what the fuck was that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Some people, they can't, just can't grow, can they? <laughs> it's not fair, man. you got to give Howard a chance. Oh, man. He reinvents himself. Yeah. He has nothing to lose. He has so much goddamn money. So God bless him. Kitty cats. <laughs> <laughs> Kitty cats. What do you think in the old days he would throw kittens at a stripper or something? <laughs> oh, that would, yeah, yeah. But like, here's what you would do you take some baloney, right? Right. And you smack a stripper's ass with the baloney. Yeah. And then you let kittens loose so they scratch and bite at the stripper's <laughs> ass and see how long she can take it. <laughs> uh, I don't think, uh, I think the days of throwing baloney at naked girls is. Long God. Yeah. All right, let's go. I want to hear this. Uh, you know, you look at them now, you're like, oh, my God, they're like the perfect pets. Like, How many have we actually placed in homes? Um, over three dozen. Over three dozen. Yeah. Wow. I am going to cry because um, <laughs> they're really great. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the oh. family. And so this we, we named <laughs> uh, her. Uh, we named her Lula, <laughs> right? Goodbye, yeah. Yeah. I just say, promise to love her for the rest of her life and take care of her. And I know you will because you're doing such a great job with Lucy and this Linus. And look who great. became a cat person. Know, right? <laughs> Be more funny. Thank you so, so. Isn't so, this great? See, that's the best. <laughs> Can I give her one more kiss? Oh, of course. <laughs> <laughs> is this just... boring, dear Lucy? No, I don't no. know. Listen, yes. look, listen. Here's the thing. <laughs> We're doing good. This Careful. is my life. These cats would all be dead, and they're all so beautiful. For more. You see Gary? Boy, Gary's in the background. I, I know how to read body language. That that means, fuck, when is this going to be over? <laughs> you don't think he was enjoying that? Hell no. Who would? He's doing good. He's doing the Lord's work. That's a that's like a two-minute clip. The, the thing was over an hour. Wow. Damn. I got a house full of fucking kittens, though. I don't know. They were adorable, but... You're heading that way? No. You'll get a second. Nope. You'll get a second. No. One one little kitty. Save this audio. Okay. A year from now, you'll have a second. No, I won't. You'll probably stop it, too. One is a handful. Yeah, but Don't that one's going to get a little big, and you're going to miss the kitten days. That's no. why. That's why people have more kids. No, they miss I don't the, need that. They miss the baby version. No. I think you'll get one more. No. Either that or Beavis will become a full-size cat that's rotten, and Anne will just get rid of that yeah. one. No! <laughs> I think that's more There'll likely. There'll be a mishap in the pool. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. I don't know. We always love the water. He'll invite Bobo and Big A over. <laughs> oh, no. He'll let yeah. nature take, take its course. It's not a Bruiser Brody situation. I'm sure, Beavis can hang out in the theater. Yeah, sure. Yeah, it won't be a murder. It. It'll just be Big A trying to, like, you know, cuddle oh. the thing. I uh. just wanted to <laughs> right. love him. His neck snapped so easy. <laughs> <laughs> I pet it with my big fucking catcher mitt paws. Uh. <laughs> yeah, we yeah, kitten day was our idea, but we were going to try to just make a, a viral video. We weren't trying to find homes for kittens. Yeah, there's no on saying our radio show. No one's going to say kittens aren't adorable. Jesus, oh my God! Well, you know, he's 
trying to reinvent himself. Good luck with that. That's um, that is quite the contrast <laughs> from from the old days. I think you're in shock a little say bit. Say that, or it's you're scared to talk about it. What's nah, up? Nah, not scared to talk about. It. I just you you're know, just in shock. It's like because it's like what could you say? It's it's hard to just bash him. But you, there is it's not this, hard to bash him because he did an hour on this. Yeah, well, well, yeah, we get douchey, sure, but it's not for our stretches. It just seems like it's a big departure from huge departure. What people kind of, you know, remember. There's no fucking way people are are staying tuned to their radios to listen to his wife talk about kittens for an hour. Period. And he's yeah, got a new could. broad in charge over there. And if this is what she thinks is gonna reinvent Howard, man, they're in deep trouble. It's not going to work. It's not mm. fucking going to work. That's probably not even her. That, that was probably him. Who knows? Yeah, because what, she's starting to influence him now to the point where he has to put up with her talking about kittens on his radio show? No, he probably wanted to. You get to, a, it's like, I'm, I'm guaranteeing that wasn't the uh, efficiency expert. She wouldn't, she wouldn't say. Really? That's no. rough. No. Finding homes for kittens on your radio show. That's rough. Mangy little fucking things. I'll buy one. <laughs> huh? I'll, I'll buy a cat. Fuck those mangy shelter cats. Always got some problem. <laughs> got a tree talking about with the crusty eye and the fucking. Yeah. Always got an eye that's leaking. The thermometer <laughs> and the fucking ice bag on his head. Can you, can you find that? Can <laughs> you find that Patrice talking the about the best that? fucking one of the, one of the best appearances Patrice had talking about the little cat with the pink eye and fucking thermometer and the ice bag on his head. While Sarah McLaughlin music Sings, is playing, yeah. Sarah McLaughlin's playing. Yeah, you can help. They always have that, the way they talk on those commercials, you can help. It's like, oh, God, please. Yeah, they, they sell uh, kittens on, on Broadway here in New York City. You walk down the street and they're in these cages. Yeah. It's horrible, but. And none of Howard's cats are on Facebook. What do you think? I made the Facebook accounts for my cat, you dumb fucking Did you? cunt. That's it. You're out today. <laughs> You're out. Sorry, I know you're there every day, but you're bounced for the day. Good. Oh, my Bye. God. I don't understand the people that, that don't see the difference. Yeah, fucking idiots. As a little storyline for a radio show, fine. But to stop the whole show and talk about kittens for an hour and try to find them homes, that's really bad radio. Mm -hmm. It's a nice gesture, sure. But that's just bad radio. Yeah. But he's at a point in his career. It doesn't really matter. So whatever. <sighs> Good luck with whatever the fuck you're doing over there. Mm. That's it. Nice to see Robin back. Yeah, I saw her in the She's elevator coming the, up. Yeah. yeah. The first day I was, I I was coming it. up in the elevator. She look good? Yeah, she did, actually. I was yeah. shocked to see her. Yeah. I saw them coming in from the side door. I'm like, that fucking Robin? It was the first time in like two years. Hi! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Hi! <laughs> yeah. Mm. Hmm. That all the kittens? They give them all away? Uh, I know there was like a couple of litter boxes. If in you there. want, we could cut up the hour and a half. <laughs> oh God, <laughs> it's October. You will, f you will feel so uncomfortable. I know. I <laughs> you will feel so I just, uncomfortable. Oh no! Look, people have the right to change. You can't do the exact same thing you were doing twenty know. years ago. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah. That that's just but, it. But it. Uh, uh, I don't know. And I, you know, we used to have like uh, I like kittens. What can I say? We used to. I love fucking pets. We had the animal shelter lady. She used to call our show. Oh, right. So we used to do. We'd some, recommend different ways of killing her fucking animals. <laughs> <laughs> she hung in there too, man. We'd fucking tell her how to kill the kittens over in her shelter. What's your name, Margie? Yeah, yep. Margie. Margie. Margie She's from obsessed. Little Shelter. Yeah. She, she hung in there for a long time, and then she finally was done with us. Bailed. Yep. Wow. Ha, <laughs> ha.